1933, the American government decided on constructing a maximum security, minimum privilege prison for the most dangerous criminals in the world. The Rock, or Alcatraz, as it's commonly known, is an island on San Francisco's bay that housed some of the country's most notorious criminals for more than three decades. The prison was operational until it wasn't feasible for the government to maintain it anymore in 1964. How y'all doing, Titty Nopers? And welcome back to Titty Nope. Today, we're looking at the 10 darkest secrets of Alcatraz. Number 10. What happens in prison stays in prison. Alcatraz was famously known for its strict communication and visitor policies for its inmates. Only visitors that were approved by the warden in advance were eligible to visit current prisoners up to once a month. This also meant that no food or drinks were allowed to be given, as well as no smoking or standing was acceptable during the visit. In addition to limiting physical contact between prisoners and visitors, there were strict rules about communication. Prisoners couldn't discuss with visitors their life in prison and update them on what's going on, and visitors couldn't bring up any current events with prisoners. If these rules were in any way violated, visitor rights could be revoked. This left relatively few topics that were safe to discuss between inmates and visitors with extreme care and safety. Number 9. The Creature in Cell 14D In the 1940s, prison guards discovered that the inmate staying at 14D was lying unresponsive on the floor. On closer inspection, the guards noticed that the man had been strangled to death. What's surprising is that there were no signs of a possible suicide attempt, and the man lived in the cell all by himself. While the cause of death was apparent, no one could imagine who had killed him. Several reports were filed and an investigation was launched. Everything led to nothing. It was reported afterwards that shortly before his death, the man pleaded with the prison guards to shift him to another cell because a creature with glowing eyes was going to kill him. Cell 14D is now a place that tour guides make sure to mention in their guides through Alcatraz. Number 8 Alcatraz caused the prisoners to go crazy. Several inmates seemed to lose their sanity while serving their time at Alcatraz. Some of these prisoners ended up committing suicide or mutilating themselves because of their insanity. History reveals that one prisoner cut off all his fingers on one hand while another slashed through his throat open with a pair of eyeglasses. To clarify, it's unclear if the conditions at Alcatraz were too bad and contributed to their insanity or if there was something mystical about Alcatraz itself. Number 7. No one at Alcatraz was on death row Contrary to popular belief, no one incarcerated at Alcatraz was there to serve a death row sentence. The prison didn't have the necessary equipment to carry out such activities. However, this isn't to say that no one died at Alcatraz. Some prisoners killed themselves. Others were killed by their fellow inmates. Some were shot at by guards, and some of them died under mysterious circumstances. Altogether, eight people were murdered by other inmates, five committed suicide, and 15 died from natural causes. Number 6. It was made impossible to escape. In June of 1962, 36 inmates tried to escape from the maximum security prison. Everyone at Alcatraz was forewarned that the prison was escape-proof, but these 36 men decided to put that to the test. 23 of them were captured before they even had a chance to escape, 6 of them were shot dead, 2 of them drowned, and 5 of them went missing but were later declared as dead due to drowning. Number 5. Haunted Before It Became Alcatraz Imagine being taken to serve a sentence on an isolated island prison and for it to be haunted. Alcatraz had a long history as a prison, but some say it was haunted before that. Early prisoners reported strange sounds and sightings, which have continued through till this day. The first warden of Alcatraz, James Johnston, reported hearing women crying while giving tours early in his career. This is likely because the island earlier has been home to several groups before it was made into the famous Alcatraz. These groups included Native American refugees, military prisoners, and even lighthouse keepers. Number 4. No prisoner was ever released from Alcatraz Alcatraz did not release any prisoners. Any inmate nearing the end of their sentence was moved to a different prison prior to their release. 
For example, Robert Straub, the Birdman, was returned to Leavenworth Prison to serve the rest of his sentence prior to release. Even deceased prisoners were not released to the public, and they were sent to the San Francisco City Coroner before being sent anywhere else. This was done to protect the prison's reputation, as well as to prevent prisoners from being in a position to help anyone else escape after they were released. Number 3. It was built by prisoners for prisoners. The 173 prisoners who were transferred to Alcatraz were literally standing on a foundation that was built for them by prisoners of the American-Mexican War. The island served as a military citadel back in the 1850s and was later on converted into a disciplinary barrack by the same prisoners from the 1850s in the 1910s. The military soon realized that they had no use for the island and transferred ownership to the United States Department of Justice in 1933. This was when the government decided to transform the structure into a prison facility. Number 2. Prison guards lived there with their families. Most people believe that Alcatraz was an island dedicated to prisoners. You wouldn't expect much to go on on an island that has a prison to begin with. However, some prison guards lived in separate housing units with their families. While admittedly not having much to do, the families did spend their time peacefully by fishing, bowling, and taking trips to close-by marines on their days off. Almost makes you forget about the fact that Al Capone is being housed in a prison cell no less than two kilometers away from you. Number 1. The Sinister Hot Showers This is by far the darkest secret to us about the Alcatraz. You'd think that a prison with a nice hot shower wouldn't be too bad, right? Well, these hot showers would basically stop them from swimming towards freedom, which was the only way out of Alcatraz. The hot showers would adjust the inmates' body temperatures to the hot water so that they would be unable to swim in the freezing temperatures of the water that surrounded the prison. So this is the end of today's video. Which one of these Alcatraz secrets surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. We'll see you in the next one.